Welcome everyone, here is how to fix stage manager not working on the iPad itself and the external display support not working. So first of all, if you slide down from the far right hand side and you do not see the stage manager option, that simply means your iPad model is not supported. You need iPad Pro 2018 or newer or iPad Air M1 or newer, which is the fifth generation. So the iPad Air 4, which I thought was supported, is not supported. This is also the iPad uh, 2022 model, also not supported. If I bring out an iPad which is supported, you're going to see when I slide down from the far right hand side, there is the stage manager option. If you do have a supported iPad, but the stage manager option is not available, you're going to open up the settings app. From here, you're going to find where it says general. You're going to tap on software update and you do need to be on iPadOS 16 or newer. Now, if you are planning on using an external display uh, stage manager support and you notice, hold up, is this ain't working? So, for example, you know, you connect to the monitor, but your iPad is only mirroring the screen to the monitor and it's not extending the display. First thing, check your iPad model because if you do not have an iPad with the M1 processor or newer, the external display support is not available, so it's always going to be mirrored. But if you know you have a supported device, uh, let's do some more troubleshooting. Let's open up settings. From here, you're going to tap on general. You're then going to tap on software update. So if you're on the older iPad OS and you see the iPad OS 16.2 or any future versions, you need to download and install that update. Now, at the time of recording, iPad OS 16.2 is not available to the general public. You do need to be a beta tester. So if you would like to use the Stage Manager external support right now, I'm going to have a tutorial on how to update to iPad OS 16.2 beta early. You can do it today. I'll have it in the description. If you use the external monitor, you have verified you are on iPad OS 16.2 but the screen of your iPad is still mirroring with the external monitor. I'm going to move to my monitor and I'll show you some more fixes that you can follow. Moving over to the external display, I have connected everything correctly. I have my USB-C to HDMI adapter, but after I do everything right and I go to the external display, you're going to notice that it's mirroring the display number one and number two, the actual display itself is extremely blurry, right? So it still works, but the reason why this happens is because the connection has glitched. If you saw there, I saw the black screen because uh, what's happened is we need to disconnect the HDMI and then reconnect it and that will refresh the connection, okay? And um, let's have a look. So I still have the issue showing up. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna interact with the iPad a little bit See if this is going to be fixed. I don't want to make this video look perfect, so, you know, I think this is a perfect feature. This is still not working, so we're going to go again. Uh, you know, I don't want to make this video look perfect again. I'm just going to show you this is how things work. So I'm going to unplug and replug, and hopefully this time it's going to work. I will fast forward if this does not work on uh, this attempt. So we see the connection. And let's take a look at the external display. Showing a black screen, there we go. So you can see, if I just move my cursor up, boom. If you initiate a screen recording, by default, it's actually gonna mirror the screen and not move to an external monitor. So the fix is quite simple. If you have a screen recording session, simply tap on the screen recording icon. You're gonna see here, external display, stage manager on. You saw that right there. You can tap on cancel and now Back on the monitor, if I just move my trackpad up, boom, we have the external display support. Now the next issue is, I don't know if you saw that, the display is disconnecting, reconnecting, disconnecting, reconnecting. There we go, it's just happened again. Like, I'm not touching anything, and it's just flickering on, off, on, off, on, off. So the solution is, you see your USB-C port, uh, cable even, you want to unplug it, and you just want to flip the sides of the cable and you also want to make sure your HDMI connection on the adapter is solid. 
Uh, if it is solid, you also want to make sure the HDMI connection to the TV is also solid, okay? On top of this, I would recommend you charge at the same time. So if your adapter does have a charger, you're going to find the charging, plug that one in. Uh, that will help as well. If you do have Magic Keyboard, you can plug in a charger on this port here as well. And so hopefully that's going to fix the issue. Uh, if it doesn't, you know, you keep on having the flickering, just unplug, replug uh, until things are going to work. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of time. And let's take a look now. I'm going to move to the external display. And boom, here is the big screen. Um, so the issue is you're not giving enough power to the external display, uh, to the HDMI even, and that's what's causing the flickering issue. So you can see that beautiful external display.